Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone. Um, this I think is like the day day five or something. But this is I'm still working my wash and go, um, my Sultanicals wash and go, and I wanted to just come on and just show you guys how I did it. <laughs> so stay tuned to see just how I put this together. Like I usually do my wash and goes, they're really simple and fast and easy. They're so easy, in fact, that it makes me lazy to do anything else. So I do those most of the time. So I wanted to show you just how I did it, so you can see. So stay tuned. I start off by rinsing the conditioner from my hair. Then I do a sort of shake thing to get my hair to trap more water because you know my wiry problem already. Then it's time for my leave-in. I'm using the Sultanicals um, Snip and Slide Nut Proof Hair Glide. I did kind of put a lot but you'll be surprised that it actually all worked in by the end. So, you know, I just kind of apply it around the roots I guess and then the rest of it is just working it in. I smooth, I squish. I rake and so on until the product is all the way worked in. I do like using this product because as you can see it has a lot of slip and it gives me great moisture and doesn't frizz up my hair. So this is my hair after I'm done working in the leave-in. I add a cream if I'm going to, although, um, you know, mostly I skip it and just use the leave-in and go straight to my oil. So I add the oil to my ends and around my edges. Um, my hairline in general, if I'm doing a back section, I'll do my kitchen. Then I just work it in the way you saw me work in the leave-in. So at this point, after I do the oil, I may or may not add some aloe vera juice, so I might just wait until the end to do that. So this is my definition after the leave-in and the oil. And next, I add a flaxseed gel for a hold. I like to use the gel for hold because I don't like to have to be doing wash and goes every three, four days, like, you know, if you just use the leave-in. So again, I just work in the gel just the way I worked in the leave-in, kind of slap it around <laughs> the roots and just kind of work my way down. Um, that's, that's it. Pretty simple. Once I'm done working in my gel, I remove my clips, <laughs> all my clips, and then I spritz my hair all over with aloe vera juice if I have any handy. I rinse my conditioner with lukewarm water to help my products absorb. So the aloe vera juice kind of helps give it that final seal. After spritzing, I add a little bit of gel to the back because most likely I would have missed a spot. And I just want to, you know, keep it tight and right. <laughs> so I add a little bit of gel to the canopy in the back and then just kind of smooth my hair everywhere. This step also helps to remove frizz and again to distribute the product evenly. So that's pretty much it. But, oh wait, let's take a break for this. <laughs> Just had to show you how much fun I have on wash day. So that's it. This is pretty much the result. Um, I guess if it's nice, do it twice. So here I go spinning some more. So that's it. The last step is just to put my clips back in and do that final shake that you know and love. That just helps to separate the curls since I kind of work in big sections. Yep, this is it. Um, my final result. Another wash day done, another wash and go done. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope this was helpful to you. And I'll do it again with some different products, although my hair looks pretty similar regardless. The only thing that might change, I guess, is shrinkage, which, you know, it's just it's all good to me. However, it comes out pretty much. I'm not too concerned with frizz and all of that, so I'm just more of the fast, quick, and easy. So, hope you had fun watching. <laughs> and that's it. That's how I achieved this wash and go. I hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next one. Bye.